could be argued that we are now in the midst of a coup d'etat in slow motion. Democracy is weakening. Corporatism is strengthening. Yet none of us has chosen this route for our society, in spite of which our elites, quite happily, continue down it. Trump is the symptom, he's not the disease. The corporate coup d'etat was begun in the early 1970s, reconfiguring the global economy into an incredibly wealthy global oligarchic class. This used to be the pride of the nation, it's gone, it's gone. I used to wake up in the morning to the noise of the blast furnace rumbling. Now I wake up to them tearing the facility down. Companies that were nation state based started to go multinational, then they started to go transnational. The shifting of manufacturing to the global south, where the wages were lower, where the environmental rules were not either existent or enforced. But the people here, they're hurting. Their jobs are gone. Their jobs are gone. On paper, there are something like 9,000 or 10,000 registered lobbyists, but in reality, the number is closer to 100,000. Do they have any influence over the vote? Not on mine. They're just looting and stealing as fast as they can as everything collapses. They set the stage for a savior. Obama was supposed to be that savior, and he wasn't. And what happens after a savior fails you, you look to something very different. Corporations are literally going wild over this. If Donald Trump goes away, we'll find another Trump. Believe me, we'll find another one. And the corporate elites, they want to divide us. They want to divide and conquer. It is a strategy as old as the elites who emerged from the cave in the history of the species. The idea that after an experiment of 150, 200 years of becoming more and more democratic, that we would suddenly slip back into this old authoritarian, top-down model. That is very destructive. And you can already see the signs of that destruction in what's happening in our societies.